this is Shirley from Shirley's World. And I'm going to uh, prepare a turkey, uh, not a turkey, a chicken, a whole chicken, roasted chicken, in the crock pot. I did this once before, and it was so uh, tender and wonderful, better than the roasters that you buy at the store. And there's a lot more meat on these also. So, um, I'm going to do it again and make lots of things out of it. It's so easy. You just put it in. I'll show you uh, some vegetables in the bottom to lift it up a little bit. It doesn't require any water because the chicken will give it enough moisture as it cooks. So, uh, let me just put... Hi, my groans. I'm going to put this in a holder here. Hi. <clears throat> she around here so you can see what I'm doing, sort of. Of all things, I ran... I went to look for onions because you should have an onion in the bottom of this. I need my wide angle lens. Which is actually right here in my pocket. Uh, you need uh, need something lifted up off the bottom of the crock pot, but other than that, uh, you don't need these vegetables because I'm just going, I'm not making soup out of this this liquid, I'm just going to make, um, sorry, I have to put this on. <clears throat> yeah, that's better. You can see more. I'm going to um, make soup later with the carcass, but uh, this, this liquid will be just to cook the chicken. So the vegetables just go in the bottom of the... Uh, bottom here, lift, sort of lift it up. I have carrots and some celery. And when I went to get an onion, because it requires a whole nice big onion, I only had a piece of an onion left. And so what I'm going to do, I can't believe I didn't buy onions. I'm going to put a couple cloves of garlic in. So, I don't know. I've always used onion before, but uh, this should work. I mean, it's certainly going to flavor it a lot. I'll just, I'm just going to cut this in half and throw it in. So I'm putting two cloves of garlic. <coughs> in. It's just a flavor. It's a flavor the chicken. And then I have an organic turkey. Tur I keep calling this a turkey. It's a little chicken. Uh, no antibiotics. It's raised cage free. No hormones, no steroids, no animal products, and 100% vegetable fed. So I'm going to cut the. wrapping off of this in the sink because I'm sure there's liquid that'll squirt out here and I want that into the sink. <clears throat> I'm gonna rinse rinse off my chicken. <clears throat> uh, some people say, don't you feel bad cooking a chicken when I raise chickens and I have them for pets. But no, I don't think about it. I don't want to think about it. So make sure you take that, the bag of stuff out of the inside of the chicken. One year when I was just married, of course, like I bet everybody did, uh, cooked it roasted a chicken with all that stuff, or turkey, it must, probably was a turkey for Thanksgiving, with all that stuff in it. Uh, I always, I always cut this big 
blob of fat that you would use if you're going to stuff the chicken. But I cut this off. Sorry. I cut this off because it's just going to be more fat in the in the chicken. So I cut that off. I cut the butt off here or whatever that's called. <clears throat> and I'm going to uh, tuck the wings under and I should tie the legs together. I tuck the wings under like this. And if I had would have remembered, I could have tied the tied the legs together. But I don't want to run and hunt for string now, so. And you just put this little chicken in here. I'll tie the legs in a few minutes. You just tie it so they don't uh, lay against your crock pot and uh, burn. So I'll tie those together in a minute. But that's all you do. Easy as anything. Hi, Red Herring. Hi, thanks for joining. Uh, I'm going to uh, salt and pepper this good after I wash my hands. Um, salt and pepper the whole chicken. I usually use gloves when I handle when I handle raw chicken, and I always do that. So let's take her out again and salt 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 and pepper I'll wash all these good because they're getting chicken juice on on turmeric Maybe some uh, seasoning salt. And then I'll put it in. And put those same things on in here. You could put a rub or something on your chicken too before you. Uh, where you roast it. I'm usually not that organized, uh, so that's why I'm doing it here, here, and now. So that's all you do. I'm going to tie those legs together, and I put it on. Uh, I usually turn my my crock pot on high for 10 minutes just to heat it up to get it started good. Uh, I set the timer or I'll forget. I set it on high for 10 minutes and then I turn it down to low and it'll cook for like eight hours. Now if you want it to, it won't have that real roasted color on it when you take it out. So what I do is I take it out, I put it in a uh, just a casserole dish or whatever and I put it in the under the broiler and I broil it for I don't know 10 minutes or so just to give it that nice crispy top uh, so it, it uh, gets really done and crispy on the top and it is delicious and then I make a million things out of it I have made I've made, uh, I take it apart and take take it all apart and I've made chicken salad, I've made pulled barbecued chicken, I've made, uh, of course the chicken soup will come from the carcass that I will make after I'm done taking all the meat off. 
you'll be surprised how much meat there are on these uh, little chickens. They enough. This is like four pounds, I think, this chicken. And um, you can just eat slices, make sandwiches. You can make uh, salads, cut up uh, pieces of chicken, make salads. You can make, uh, I put uh, it in spaghetti sauce and make uh, it over spaghetti or some kind of noodles. You can make all kinds of things out of this one roaster chicken. So this is very uh, much of a bargain when you buy this because I think this chicken, what did it cost here? I got this at Aldi's. It costs $6.84 and I'm going to get lots of meals out of this. <clears throat> it was four pounds, four and a half pounds. Okay, so it's really a bargain, I think. It's $1.49 a pound at Aldi's uh, for the, uh, it, it's of course cheaper if you don't buy the organic one, but I always buy my meats uh, organic. So there you go. That's uh, my hint about making making the chickens. Hold on a minute. So I'm going to put this in the roaster and just I have to go get my hair cut this afternoon. It'll be cooking the whole time I'm gone, all this morning. And by supper time, I'll be able to take it out and do a quick supper on it just by slicing some chicken off of it. And but then I can uh, take it all apart and make all kinds of things out of it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So what's everybody doing there? Hope there's somebody watching this. <laughs> I have to clean all these uh, containers off because I've touched them with chicken juice on my hands. I try not to do, but I wasn't prepared good enough for this. So that's my, uh, that's my uh, thing of what I do with the roasted turkey. I've stopped buying the, uh, the ones just from the grocery store. I know they smell so good when you walk past them. And I bought, I've, I've had those many a time, but there's not much meat on them, you know. And I found that there's, there's three times as much meat on this little chicken as one of those roasters you buy. I don't know why. They must be tiny to begin with, or they just roast the heck out of them so that uh, there's nothing left. I don't know. I will close for now and maybe be on later. Bye.